There are two types of people watching my video right now. You're either a visco girl or you're not, and there's no in between. If you're a visco girl, hi! You're probably already on the right track to being eco-friendly. And if you're not a visco girl, hi! I have plenty of awesome tips that you can use literally from your bed. No way! Yes, you can. What's cracking guys? Welcome back to a new video. My name is Maddie if you don't know me. So today is Earth Day. Happy Earth Day to everybody. This is very exciting. This is a monumental moment for all of us because this is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. I know crazy. And this is the weirdest Earth Day we've ever had because we are stuck in our houses. Well, I have compiled a long list of Earth Day celebratory things that you can do from the comfort of your home, which you should be doing staying home. Speaking of which, it's actually really exciting because the Earth is actually healing a lot from all of us staying at home. There's reduced airplane and car emission. The Venice canals are opening up. There are fish, there's new wildlife. So it's actually really exciting and it's kind of a step back to look and see how beautiful Earth is and how great it is and how much we should be protecting it. So let's just get right into the video. The first thing is to turn off all the lights in your house for a day. Um, this one's kind of fun because you can let some natural light in or, you know, if you're like me, you can just sit on your bed and listen to songs that made you emo your freshman year of high school. Um, or if you don't want to do that and get into your feels, you can take a shorter or colder shower. This is something really simple that you can do. It's a little bit uncomfortable for, what, five minutes? And it saves a lot of water. Number three, go plant something. Go pick a seed from an apple and put it in the ground. Maybe it'll grow, maybe it won't, but you're planting something, you're adding something to the earth. Four, go on a walk or a run and enjoy nature. For me, that was running around in my backyard, doing a couple of cartwheels, getting back into my gymnast roots, even though I wasn't really a gymnast, I was kind of a gymnast for like a month there. Five, pick up some trash that you see. If you are going on your walk or in your backyard or literally anything and you see some trash, just pick it up, put it in a trash bin, and move on your way. The next one's really fun. I thought of it while I was trying to fall asleep last night is that you can upcycle old shirts or pants or whatever into masks. Now these masks aren't perfect by any means. They're not surgical. They're not supposed to protect you 100%, but they're great because I know they're advising the public now to wear masks whenever you go out. So this is a super, super easy way to not only upcycle your clothes instead of throwing them away, saving a little bit of the earth, but also creating something that can help you during this pandemic. And now we're gonna cut to the CEO of sewing, my other persona. Hello, now I'm gonna show you how to upcycle a shirt into a face mask, so let's go. The first thing that you're gonna need is a shirt. Maybe you're planning on getting rid of it or don't like it anymore. And you're just going to flip it over and figure out where you wanna cut it. Then you're gonna need something to write with and a measuring tape. You're gonna measure nine by 12 inches so that you have a rectangle and draw around the outside of it so that you have a clear definition of what you're gonna cut out. Then you're gonna grab some pins and you're just gonna pin all around the inside of where you drew. Once you're done pinning, you're just gonna grab your scissors and cut out the rectangle. Once you're done cutting, you're just going to remove all the pins that you put in there in the first place. Then you're going to peel apart the two pieces and put them down. Oops. Yep. Okay, there you go. Then you're going to put the two right sides together. So the two pieces that you want showing, you're going to put those together. Then you're going to grab some elastic. Mine ended up being too long, so I would say do it a little bit shorter than this. I needed about three inches. So now we're going to talk about what you're going to sew. So when you're sewing, you want to put the elastic on the inside of the right sides and then close it up so that you can sew it on the inside. Then you're just going to sew along that side making sure the elastic is in there. Then peel down the other side and place the other piece of elastic in the corner just like you did the last one and sew over it into the next corner. Once you reach the next corner, you're going to peel back the edge again and find that end piece of elastic and just put it in the corner and sew over it. There should be a little bit of give, so that's correct. Then sew around to the end, but make sure you leave a little room to turn it inside out. This is pivotal. So now I'm just going to sew like I showed you. You can hand sew this, but I have a sewing machine, so obviously I'm going to use my machine because it's easier. 
This is why it was so important to leave that little hole because now you're going to turn it inside out. Now that you have finished sewing your mask, we're going to sew in some pleats. Lay down the mask flat and then you're going to fold over the back and then front to create a little pleat. It's kind of like making those paper fans that we used to make in like middle school. Ugh, oh, good memories. Not really. Once you're done with that, you're going to sew all the way around, even on the top and bottom. While you're sewing, you have to make sure to be super careful around the pleats and make sure the pleats are still sewing in, otherwise it won't work. And once you are done with that, you are done. Back to you, Maddie. Uh, number seven is recycling things that you put in the trash that could be recycled. That's a huge one. Um, if you are doing anything today, like throwing out an old milk jug or some kind of plastic, you can actually recycle it. Find a recycling bin near you in your community somewhere and go recycle. Number eight is just make noise. It's Earth Day. Not necessarily actually going outside and making noise, which obviously of course you can do but i mean social media post about it get it get people excited get people working number nine is go vegetarian for the day this one might be a little difficult for some people um obviously if you have health challenges that you can't do that don't do that i have plenty of other things you can do but if you can just try it try going vegetarian maybe you'll like it maybe you'll stick to it I don't know, it's just a fun thing to try. Number 10 is don't drive for the day. So save some vehicle mission and don't drive. The next thing is use a reusable water bottle. I actually have this reusable water bottle that I've been drinking from all week. It's just from Starbucks. You can get a reusable water bottle if you don't have one or just use one that you have at home. Or even if you don't have a reusable water bottle, try using a paper straw or a metal straw when you're getting your drinks if you use a straw at all. The next thing that you can do is open a window, get some fresh air in your room, um, let that natural air fill up your house um, instead of using like air conditioning or anything like that. Obviously, if you're in a cold climate like I am, you're gonna have to turn on the heat today. So this tip might just not be for you. Now we're gonna talk about all of the things that you can do from the comfort of your bed. Now, I know you're probably busy worshiping your Danny DeVito shrine by candlelight. However, you should take a break for about five ten minutes and just do some of these things the first thing is to download ecosia ecosia is a chrome extension no this is not sponsored i wish it was um it's a chrome extension that i've been using for a very long time all you have to do is search ecosia in google chrome and add it to your browser as an extension so basically what ecosia is is it is a search engine but every certain number of searches they actually plant a tree which is awesome and super helpful for the earth and you don't have to do anything except for browse and while you're on ecosia there are a couple awesome things you can do the first thing is subscribe to me actually why don't you take a break right now and just click that bright red button i know it's calling your name i know it is the second thing is to research a new animal i literally realized the other day that i don't know anything about any animals like there are so many weird and crazy animals out there that i resemble and i just figured this out today so the next thing is that you can go on the earth day official website and see all the things that you can participate in there are so many different things you guys from the internet there's national park services that you can take a part of. You can watch Earth Day Live, where a lot of people are talking about new animals and discoveries and things about the Earth. Columbia University and the Earth Institute are holding a panel like that as well. And there's also an interactive science fair at the Staten Island Museum if you are looking for something more on the science side of Earth. And finally, something that you can actually do from your phone is download the Earth Day Challenge 2020 app. There's so, so many things you can do within the app, like check your air pollution, check your water pollution. Um, you can learn more about Earth Day and what it does and what it means. And it's just an easy way to connect with Earth literally from your phone. Thank you, Visco girls and cool guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 500 subscribers and I would love to hit it by the end of the week if possible. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and watch some of my other videos if you like me.
Peace out, hippies and visco curls.